hours that they had there. This afternoon, uh, Saturday afternoon, was still a great showing for the Bears faithful. Uh, chair bags are full, uh, upper deck's pretty full too as well. So it's a, yeah, it was kind of like we're ready for the National Anthem. We're going to get a quick break here right here. Morgantown Banking Trust knows what being on the home team is all Region 2 played 11 and 0. Uh, they beat line. Uh, so, again, just a, a really solid team. Mutual opponents, uh, they have beaten Muhlenberg County by 14, and they beat. And number five, Alex Satterfield. Tip off won by the Bears as Brian Griffin now has it on the top of the key. Gets it over to Trevor D. Louise on the wing, back over to Castlin. Top of the key. Cross court ball intercepted by number 12. That is Bell. Bell pushes the pace, kicks out to Davenport, back to Thompson, over to Satterfield, back to Bell, who gets it, swings it to number five, Satterfield, Satterfield drives in, kicks it out, as Lawson Rice pushes the pace, drives the lane, kicks it out to Briar Griffin, who pulls the three ball, no good, rebound by Kendrick. Big young man. Yep. As number five, Satterfield's shot is up and no good. Rebound tipped out of bounds. Goes to possession of the Bears. Trevor DeWitt gets it into Price. Over to Griffin. Griffin on the wing. Over to Rice. Rice thinks about the three. Doesn't take it. Over to Price. Top of the key. Two three zone by Henderson County Colonels. Threes. Right. Good job. 2-2 your score if you just joined us. 6.30, first quarter action here. Then Hebrews Classic. That is number zero, Thompson. Loses the ball, out of the lane. Find number zero under the basket. That is Thompson who misses the layup, rebound to the Bears. Castle has it over to Price who pulls the three ball from the wing, no good. Rebound by Kendrick. And go out of bounds. Good job, good defense. Another thing, Parker, you'll see again, three in and three out. Henderson County has played 26 games. This is game 27. Yeah. They'll go five deep. On so a lot of experience, but they'll go five or six deep on their bench. As Griffin gets it ahead to Price. Price drives the baseline, gets it over to Castlin. Back to the Wees, over to Griffin. On rebound, back up, no good. This time rebounded 
by Henderson County. That was by number one, Branson. Davenport has it for the Colonels. Gets it. He misses the breakaway layup. Rebound by number four, Moss. Moss gets it ahead to one, Branson. Branson pulls the floater. No good. Rebound by Price. Good job. Or Rice. Good job Great by Rice there. Great They're going to draw the foul. 2-2, you score. A lot of action, but not much scoring so far. 5-0-4, first quarter, 2-2. Two -two. That foul was on Price. Back to the Weeds. Over to Price, who crosses the timeline, gets it ahead to Briar Griffin, who throws up the lob for Lawson Rice, goes a little long. Rice recovers, gets it over to Castle in the corner, pulls the three ball. No good. Rebound tipped and recovered by the Bears. That is Lawson Rice, who puts it right back up in the post, and that is good for his first points out of the ball game. Good job. Butler leads. At number five, pushes the pace. That is Satterfield with the to go layup for the Colonels. Time the ball game up 4 4. Four and a half minutes left in this first quarter. Rice loses the ball. Number five, change jumper. And that is in. Nice job by Lawson yeah. Rice. 6 6 your score. Four minutes left. First quarter action. Number five, Satterfield. Guarded by Castling. Looking to set something up here for the Colonels. He gets it in to inside to number 11. Great it's job. by Lawson Rice. Get, Ty Price comes away with it. He'll push the pace and drive the lane. He's going to lose that ball out of bounds. Great defense. And number 14, Suggs enters the game. 6-6 six, six your score if you just joined us. First quarter action, 338 first quarter. Griffin gets it in to Castlin. Castlin inside to Rice. Rice. That's going to be his first. Yep. 6-6 six, six your score. Trevor Deweese takes a trip to the final finish. Free throw line for two shots here in this first quarter. Trevor. Henderson County again in Region 2 power tonight. Three second shot up and in as well. Puts the Bears up two. Colonels inbound the ball to Davenport. Davenport over to Bell. Back over to number four, Moss. Moss drives, kicks it out to number one, Branson. Branson, spin moves, finds Suggs under the basket. Right. Tied Justin eight all. Kesslin tries to lob it up to Lawson Rice. A little miscommunication there, but Ty Price comes away with the steal. And he'll get it inside to Lawson Rice, who turns around and put it for the Bears. Briar Griffin now has it. On the wing, he'll drive the lane, kick out to Trevor DeWeese. Thinks about the three, doesn't take it. Gets it. Bears That's lead 10 8. Moss has it on the wing, guarded by Price. Gets it over to Davenport. Back over to Bell. Bell on the wing, back over to Moss. Finds Davenport in the corner, he'll drive baseline, and they're going to say he steps out. Good defense by Castlin. More substitutions by the Colonels. Thompson. Court Stripe gets it over to Griffin on the wing. Back to the Louise, over to Castlin on the other wing. Castlin to Price in the corner. Price pulls the contested three ball. No good. Just a little bit. Brings it back out. Gets it up to number five, Satterfield. Satterfield will drive the lane and find Suggs, who slams one down for the Colonels. 10 10 your score, tied. 136 left first quarter. Price walks, up, gets it over to Griffin. Griffin guarded by Moss. Spin move, and he's going to be fouled by Moss. Don't like to see those fouls that no. far out, but uh, again, Moss here at home tonight. There's inbound to Lawson Rice, ball stolen by Moss. Gets it ahead to Suggs. Suggs turns around and puts it up and in. Suggs now has six points on the night. Two, Fry Griffin. Griffin will drive towards the basket and put the layup up. No good, rebound by Suggs. He gets it over to Satterfield. 
Satterfield top of the key, got about his foul. That basket was good. He'll take a trip to the free throw line. Suggs now eight points in this first quarter. That foul. Got another substitution for Henderson County. 14 to 10, 54 seconds left first quarter action. As Suggs, first and only shot up and no good. Top Rice has it on the wing. Recovered by Trevor DeWeese, who puts it up and blocked. And that ball's going to go out of bounds and go to possession of the Colonels. Another substitution. Branson in. And that is number five, Satterfield. Walks it across the timeline. Guarded by Castlin. 25 seconds remaining. Looking to slow things down a little bit here. Satterfield still has it. 15 now remaining in this first quarter. Guarded by Castlin. First quarter. Brian Griffin will pull the final shot of the quarter. No good. Right, so we're going to take a quick break and be back with some second quarter play brought to you by Chad's Body Shop and Record Service. Morgantown Bank and Trust knows what being on the home team is all about. Since 1880, Morgantown Bank and Trust has been serving the people of Butler County and since 1970s of the community. And we work hard every day to give you exceptional professional service from people you know and trust. Good luck, Bears, from Morgantown Bank and Trust. Equal housing lender member. If so, Chad's Record Service and Body Shop. Welcome back to the Bear Cave as the Bears trail the Henderson County Colonels. 16 to 10. Six foot five, 155 yep. pounds, and he is lighting it up in the first time in the first quarter. First quarter, he had 10 points of Hendersonville 16. Yeah. Henderson, I'm not Hendersonville, Henderson, Henderson County. County. See, student enrollment, I got that. The other. Student enrollment is uh, right at 2,000. 1,968 yeah. students. So class 6A school. Again, uh, Region two, uh, they're still the line county. So, the, so again, anything can happen in the region. Yep. As uh, that's number three, who has it? Davenport for the Colonels gets it ahead. Got a field back to Davenport. Gets it ahead to Thompson. Thompson over to Branson. Branson back to Satterfield. Satterfield drives the lane, gets it up to Suggs. Suggs blocks, and he's going to draw a foul here on the Bears. First shot up and in. Suggs now has 11 of Henderson's 17. Henderson leads 17 10, 7 38. If you join us late, second quarter. Shot up and no good. Rebound by Lawson Rice for the Bears. Gets it ahead to Ty Price. Ty Price over to Griffin. Griffin gives it to Price on the wing. That is Justin Castle. Gets it ahead to Ty Price, who crosses the half-court stripe. Ahead to Trevor DeLuise, back to Price up the top of the key. Over to Griffin on the wing. Griffin controlled. Rebound knocked out of bounds by the Bears. It'll go to the Colonels. You know, another thing, Parker, uh, on the season, game yeah so yeah. solid defensive bunch as number five Satterfield bridges it across the half court stripe gets it ahead to Branson in the corner Branson finds number zero Thompson who is blocked by Trevor DeWees to Satterfield Satterfield pushes the pace and puts the layup up and in and he's going to draw the foul here on Lawson Rice that'll be Rice's first team second of this quarter 634 second quarter action Henderson leads 19-10. You know, you can see the strategy playing out here. Henderson has gone five deep on. Up and in. Puts the Colonels at a 10-point lead. A lot of depth here for Henderson County. 20-10, yep. as Parker said. Yep. Two, Griffin. Griffin ahead to Price. Price on the wing, drives the lane, kicks out to Griffin. Griffin pulls the three ball from the wing. No good. Rebound. Great. Great, great job. Great offensive effort there by just casting. Keeping that alive and yeah. getting the rebound. Oh, yes, the sir. Rebound. Yes, sir. 
as the Bears inbound the ball to Castle. Blocked. And that ball is going to go out of bounds and it'll stay with the Bears again. So, nice little fourth chance here for the Bears to put some points on the board here in the second quarter. It, it's a 2-3, but it, it, it almost looks like a man at times. As they inbound the ball, shot no good. Rebound by Bell. Bell looked it to the head to Bears Trail. 10 to 22 here in the second quarter, brought to you by Chad's Body Shop and Record Service. As Again, uh, like I said, last year, not uh, Henderson County is used to this. They uh, last year, Parker, they went 22 and nine. Uh, I think lost in the second round of the regional tournament to Hopkinsville, who went on to win the region two of letting Ty Price get a shot away uncontested. Uh, the thing that concerns me a little bit, Parker, is that their leading score, scorer, Cooper Davenport, has yeah. scoreboard yet. Yeah. Uh, but again, this, folks, this is Elijah Suggs, uh, six foot five junior. He is, uh, he is the guy right now that's giving us trouble, and, uh, and we're going to have to find. As Bears inbound the ball to Griffin. Griffin, guarded by Moss, gets it over to Trevor DeWeese on the wing. Trevor DeWeese finds Price inside. Price turns around and turn over. Intentional, intentional foul. foul. And that's going to be on Breyer. Yep. Did he, did he tug on the jersey? He, he grabbed the jersey with both his hands. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that's going to be, what, two shots and the ball? Uh, this was headed for a breakaway layup. Uh, so again, uh, they'll shoot two and get the ball. Moss's first shot up and in. That's Moss's third point of the game. 24-10, Henderson County. And they'll get the ball underneath. 537 left here in the second quarter. Hebrews Classic here tonight at BCHS campus. As number five, and that is up and in. Bears now trail 27-10. Five and a half minutes left as Ty Price drives the lane and puts up the floater. No good rebound by Moss. Rebound by Briar Griffin. Griffin. And we're gonna get a foul here. I think on, yep, number three, Davenport. That'll be his first teams. Inbounds the ball to Briar Griffin. Griffin. Over to Dewey's, back to Griffin. Griffin will drive the link. Try to get in the loss. Of More substitutions. Yep. Branson and Suggs back in for the Colonels. Kendrick and Satterfield take a seat. Prior nice. Griffin to inbound the ball for the Bears. And the Lawson Rice over to Case Hooten. Swings over to Dewey's, wide open in the corner. Pulls the three ball, no good rebound by Davenport. For the Colonels, Davenport. Tries to push ahead and will lose it out of bounds. Good defense there by the Bears. Henderson, Thompson in, Davenport out. Case Hooten inbounds the ball to by Griffin. Griffin. That's the top of the key, gets it over. It. Gets it ahead to Case Hooten, back to Price. Price on the wing, guarded by Branson. Inside to Rice. Effort there by Lawson Rice. Big work by the yeah. big man. Good work by the big man. As I believe it might be our first points of it this is. quarter. It is. 27-12. Bears trail. Bell on the wing. Back to number zero, Thompson. Back to Moss. Moss over to Bell in the corner. And yeah, that foul is going to be on Thompson. His first. His first team second. As Briar Griffin brings it across the half court. Back to Griffin. Griffin drives to the wing. Gets it out to Trevor DeWeese. Inside to Lawson Rice. Lawson Rice loses it. And they go off of this foot. And they go. Bears look like uh, Castling in, hooting out. Thompson inbounds the ball. Gets it over to Thompson and Thompson. 
opportunity to offensive foul. Of this quarter. As Ty Price has it on the wing, in the corner, drives the lane, tries to put up the floater and is blocked. And that ball is going to be maintained. Out. Thompson, six foot four senior, so they've got some size. As Rice over to Castlin on the other wing. Castlin, shot fake, gets over to Price, who pulls the three ball to Davenport, back to Bell. One to three to minutes. Satterfield. Satterfield, spin move, drives the lane, and puts up the layup. Paris trail 12 29, two minutes, 45 seconds left here in this. His second team's fourth. Davenport out and Moss in. 29 12. Henderson leaves. 245 left to play in the half. For the Colonels. Branson gets it ahead to Moss. Over to Bell. Bell will get it over to Satterfield, who will pull the three ball. And it rattles in. Satterfield gets the rebound back over to Castlin in the corner. Castlin, no good on the three ball as well. 32 12. Henderson rebound County leads. By Satterfield. We're coming up on the two-minute mark. Drives the lane and is fouled by Suggs. It's going to be his second, I believe. 155. Quarter. Yep. You score second. Henderson County 32, Butler 12. Bears now in the bonus. As Trevor Louise takes a trip to the final finish free throw line for two shots here. All free throws. He's, he's three for three. Two more subs. Got Bell and Suggs out. 155 left to play in the half. Bears got a lot of work to do in the second. Uh, Satterfield has it for the Colonels. Drives the right wing, has it top of the key, and he's going to lose that one out of bounds. It'll go. Noon. Regular season winding down. There's only one week left in the regular season. Satterfield inbounds to Kendrick under the basket. Kendrick. Turn around, puts up the shot. No good, rebound by. As Ty Price has it on the wing. He'll drive the lane. Find Castlin back over to Griffin. Griffin will pull the three ball from the wing. And that is good for a Kentucky Farm Grill agent, Bobby Smith. Three point play by Briar Griffin. 32-16. Pulls or thinks about the mid range, gets it ahead to number 11. Back over to Moss. Moss on the wing. Gives it ahead to Kendrick. No good. Rebound by number 11, that is Davis. Gives it ahead to Branson. 32 16 your score. Henderson may wait for the last. In the corner, wide open. 4 3. Bears trail 16 to 35. 35 seconds left here. As Ty Price pulls a three ball. Rebound goes out of bounds. And Colonels maintain possession. 35-16, 33 seconds left to play in the half. Court for three, Davenport doesn't take it. Over back over to Satterfield. You get instruction from the sideline, one shot. 15 seconds remain now. Guarded by Castling. Five seconds as he drives the lane and puts up the floater up and in. 37-16. Bears trail at the half. We're going to take a moment, gather some stats, and be back with a halftime show for you. You're listening to Bears basketball here on 101.5, 103.5 WLEQ. The pros at Chad's are licensed and insured and will work with your insurance company. To the Call Chad's for a free estimate at 270-526-4005. And remember to request Chad's the next time you need a tow. Parkway Cars and Tires is your low price lead. 
Over 30 years of experience and multiple distributors allow us to be your number one tire store in the area. We always give free rotation and balancing on every purchase. Not only tires, but we do brakes, alignments, and much more for all yours, too. Thank you, and God bless. The way Bill sees it, people who say a car is just for getting from point A to point B are missing the point entirely. Because takes such good care of that car. And he has Kentucky Farm Bureau take care of his insurance. Because we're not just Kentucky's Farm Bureau. We're Bill's pride and joy Farm Bureau. Kentucky Farm Bureau Insurance. The farm boy has been a staple of the Morgantown community. Not only is it the premier spot for down-home country cooking, but it's the best place to catch up on all the local happenings with good friends and family. If you're looking for the best down-home country-style meal this side of the Green River, visit the Farm Boy today, located at 635 West G.L. Smith Street in Morgantown. The Farm Boy. 3 p.m. The athletes aren't the only stars in the Butler County school system. Butler County students excel at everything from bridge building to building rockets. Our bands and choirs are consistently some of the best in the entire state. Grab the field and remind you that they're committed to success one student at a time. The way Bill sees it, people who say a car is just for getting... as a reflection of his personality. That's why he takes such good care of that car. And he has Kentucky Farm Bureau take care of his insurance. Because we're not just Kentucky's Farm Bureau. Help keep Butler County beautiful by using the recycling Butler County Recycling Center. The trailers are conveniently located throughout the county to make recycling easy. Find trailers at North Butler Elementary, Morgantown Elementary, Hoods Market. VF doubling the recycling bins provided by the Butler County Recycling Center. It's easy being green. Reduce, reuse, recycle. When you do, we all win. Since 1880, Morgantown Bank and Trust has been serving the people of Butler County. And since 1976, we've been a part of every WLBQ broadcast of Butler County High School Athletics. As your only home-owned independent bank, we want to be a pillar of the community. And we work hard every day to give you exceptional professional service from people you know and trust. Good luck, Bears, from Morgantown Bank and Trust. He can services to the community that they've been serving for over 40 years. Whatever vending service is required, Double E has a full line to cover anything you could want. At 270-791-5414 to see how they can service you today. 270-791-5414 Five four one four. Double E vending wants to thank the and gentlemen to the Bear Cave. Jonah Swift back here with you. Parker Smith and Coach Allen also here as the Bears are in County Colonels thirty seven sixteen. Uh, at the half, we're here with, uh, we'll just call it the WLBQ Halftime Show. Yeah. Uh, guys, uh, I believe I'll go around and Trevor Deweese with three, all three of those coming from the free throw line. And then for the Colonels, number five, Alex Satterfield with 14. Seven. Number 25, Yusuf Sonogo Kendrick with two. And number 12, Nicholas Bell with three. So, uh, guys, the uh, here, uh, they love going to the three ball. And right now, guys, this is one of those nights where the three ball is not hitting mm -hmm. for the Bears. Only one Kentucky Farm Bureau agent, Bobby Smith, three pointer tonight. Uh, but, is, uh, but I know that they have taken a lot of those three point shots. But the biggest thing for me, guys, going forward is the Bears got to set up some plays. They have to set up some offense. It, it's one of those things where I'm seeing a lot of, uh, I'm seeing we got to work together. You got to, you know, we got to have more off ball movement and uh, we got to, we got to take our time and, and get our shots. Uh, right now, it looks to me like the Bears are just rushing a little bit, guys. Yeah. With zero yeah. points uh, in one half of basketball. So obviously the Bears going to try and get him going uh, tonight. Uh, but this game is not over, guys. I mean, just looking at the matchup, I mean, we got to find that answer. And right now, uh, 
players are going to have cold nights. And, and this is a, as Jason Jones is yelling at us over, over the, uh, the Jumbotron over there. As for the Bears going forward, because, uh, you know, Todd Price, Lawson Rice, Briar Griffin, it doesn't matter who it is. Any of the Bears starters, uh, they could be out for a game. You know, they could just have a cold night like we're seeing right now, Coach. Uh, and the Bears got to find that offensive attack. Some it's going to be like that. And this, this is a very experienced ball club. We knew looking at the schedule coming in, Coach Dockery did a great job this year with the schedule, challenging. I, again, I don't like what. Ask for a better matchup trying to get ready for district and region. Right. But again, Henderson County has proven who they are 21 and 5 on the season. They're four seniors, six juniors, and they do go five deep on their bench. So, yeah. you know, so Henderson coach has been repeatedly just, you know, running people in and out. And, uh, and that will change again. The other night, Parker and I were on the call, you know. We were down 20, Lady Bears were down 24-10 at the half, yeah. and we went in triple overtime. So, uh, you know, things change, and, uh, and hopefully, like you said, those, those shots are going to start falling. But at the same time, we got to try something different. Try to, and, and, again, and again, someone's just got to take charge. Right, right. They, they and, and another thing to play, yeah. uh, we're going to have to chip away at this lead. Uh, and the Bears, like I said, just got to take the high percentage look. That's usually one of the Delta Fawcett keys of the game is take the high percentage yeah. look. And I think if the Bears can do that, they got a chance. Uh, so if I'm the Bears, just keep getting defensive stops, and uh, hopefully something starts falling. Yeah, hopefully. As we are now set, we got about 10 seconds to go here. I'm going to step away. Bears will start off in the half with the ball. As Trevor DeRee set the inbound for the Bears. Essentials Insurance Group. As Griffin has the ball, gets it inside to Rice. Rice pulls the mid-range, no good. Rebound ball here. <laughs> Sorry about that. Didn't mean to pull the headset up. That was Mr. <laughs> David Pentecost. Uh, Mr. Pentecost is the assigning secretary in uh, both. As Davenport gets it over to Moss. Moss gives it to Satterfield over to Davenport in the corner, pulls a three ball, and that's good. 15 point average on the season. That was his first points of the night. Yep. As Ty Price picks up his first points of the night as well. Nice little photo there. 18 to 40, Bears trail. Oh, top of the key. Get it over Satterfield. Satterfield misses the layup. Rebound by Suggs back over to Bell. Over to Mar Corner, who drives the baseline. Ball stolen by the Bears. That is Ty Price. Ty Price will pull the three ball from the top of the key. No good. Rebound by Rice. Rice take a trip to the final finish free throw line. Great job by Lawson. Had an one opportunity. Scored the basket, and that could be big there. Suggs picks up his third, and he's six foot four. Suggs is going to stay out there. Oh, okay. Bell, okay. Yeah. Wow. He thought he was coming out, and they stopped him. Okay. So they've definitely got so they got yeah. two now. You know, Thompson six four and Suggs is six five. So they've got some size in there. Forty twenty Bears trail. Nice first and only shot is up and in. Good job by Lawson. Nice three point play there by him. As Satterfield gets it over to Satterfield, back to Davenport, guarded by Rice. Or Castle gets it back up to Satterfield, over to Suggs this time on the wing. Back to Moss over Satterfield, who throws a lob up for Suggs. And that 21 40 Bears trail. 6.06 left in this third quarter, brought to you by Essentials Insurance Group. Congratulations to the Lady Bears. They just got back. They picked up a varsity only win tonight. And so, congratulations to them. I think they said that was win number 14. I think that's what. Right. I think it's what. Uh, folks, only one more home game for the Bears. The Bears will be at home next week against the Orangeboro Senior, uh, who is always a, a, a Region 3 powerhouse. But uh, 
Again, a lot going on. Spring sports. We talked about this the other night. Spring sports starting up. Indoor track state meet with Parker and them coming up in a couple weeks. Good luck to you. Satterfield inbounds the ball into Moss. Back to Satterfield, who is going to get it into Suggs, and Suggs gets the slam to go. His first points of the half. And gets the scoop and score. Good job by Breyer. 42-23, yeah. Bears trail. Full court pressure, Bears. Satterfield ahead of Thompson over to Moss. The wing, Satterfield. It's to Moss. Moss will pull the three ball from the wing. No good. Rebound by Castling. Castling gets it up to Price. Price. Away with it. Davenport pulls a three ball of his own. Rattles in and out. No good. Rebound by Lawson Rice for the Bears. 5.20 left to play. Third quarter action. Ty Price tries to answer with a three ball of his own. No good. Once, no good. Rebound maintained by the Colonels. That is Davenport. Davenport. Guarded by Griffin. Back over to Thompson. Thompson drives the lane, tries to get it into Suggs. Ball stolen by Justin Kasson. Or Ty Price now has it. Gets it inside to Lawson Rice. Lawson Rice. Henderson County subbing. Three in, three out. Thompson, Suggs, and Satterfield will sit down. 42-25, Bears trail, 437, third quarter. Branson ahead to Moss, who crosses the timeline. Moss over to Bell in the corner, who will pull the three ball. No good, rebound by Rice for the Bears. Gets it up to Briar Griffin. Griffin tries to get it ahead. With the Bears. As Griffin set the inbound for the Bears. 4-17, third quarter. Gets it in to Ty Price. Top rebound by Trevor DeWeese. And DeWeese is going to be fouled here on by Branson, I believe. Reach foul there yep. on Cole Branson, his first. Tonight on this Saturday night, he brews classic here at Butler County campus. Four minutes left, third quarter. Ty Price gets it over to Castle inside to Price. Price has it in the corner. Louise dribbles out, gives it back to Price. Back to Castle in the corner, who would drive baseline, lose it, but recovered by Lawson Rice, who puts it up and in for the Bears. Three and a half minutes left here in this third quarter, as Branson has it for the Colonels in the corner. Swings it cross court to Moss, inside to Kendrick, inside to Bell, who turns around and layup is no good, rebound by Castle. Griffin has it for the Bears. Gives it inside the Rice. Butler County faithful trying to yeah. help him get the momentum Rice back. To Price, who has Bell. Gives it over to Branson. Over to Moss. Moss thinks about the three, doesn't take it. Kicks it back out to Branson. Branson. Timeout. Nice timeout yeah. We got a full timeout. Henderson County. Once we're going to take a quick one with them. You're listening to Bears basketball here on 101.5, The driver? If so, Chad's Record Service and Body Shop can help get your car back on the road. The pros at Chad's are licensed and insured and will work with your insurance company to make your car like new and on the side of the road. Call Chad's for a free estimate at 270-526-4005. And remember to request Chad's the next time you need a tow. Welcome back. Time out there by Henderson County's coach again. The crowd was getting into it. We yep. were, even though we're down 15, we you could feel the momentum mm -hmm. and you could feel a little bit of a swing. And again, it does. You could tell uh, Coach Dockery was urging the players on, and so were the fans. So we'll yep. see what goes. We're still trailing by 15, but a lot of time was still left to play. Uh huh. Davenport brings it across half court and gets it up to Branson. Branson back to Satterfield. 
who tried to find so under the basket. The ball goes out of bounds to the Bears. Looked like maybe Parker. I think we might have been in a two-three then. It was it was it was so spread yeah. out. Yeah. Ty Price gets it over to Castlin by number 11 Davis. Davis gives it over to Satterfield. Swings it up to Moss. Moss gets it inside to Davis. It's a pump fake and blocked. Recovers, recovers his own rebound, gets it up to Satterfield, pulls the three ball. No good rebound by Trevor DeWeese. We're under two minutes. Butler trails 42. Gets inside to Justin Castlin. He puts it up, no good, and is fouled on the play. He'll take a trip to the final finish free throw line for two shots here in the third by Essentials Insurance Group. That foul is on number 11, Davis, his first, team's third of the court. 148 left, third quarter. Bears trail 42-27. And some more substitutions for Henderson County. Satterfield and Branson will take a seat for the Colonels. Two in, two out. Castle. Out of bounds. Yeah. Great job by the Bears there. 13 point deficit, but you can kind of feel a little. 44 left in the third. As Castle gets it over to Griffin back to Ty Price. Ty Price fakes the three, drives in, pulls the floater. No good rebound by Bell. Bell gets it ahead to Davenport, who pump fake stolen by Briar Griffin. Griffin gets ahead to Castle, who puts it up and in. And, and a foul. I think we got an offensive foul here. Oh, offensive foul. They've yeah. waved it off. Huh. Oh. <laughs> All right, 42-29, so the basket is waved off. Full court pressure, 121 left to play in the third. To Moss. Ball stolen by Ty Price who puts it up, no good. Rebound by Justin Castle, who puts up the three ball, no good. And that's gonna go out of bounds. Satterfield's gonna check back in. Satterfield in, Moss out for Henderson. 108 left to play in the third. Bears trail 42-29. Third quarter action. Thompson gets it in to Davenport. Davenport is gonna be fouled here. Going to be on Briar Griffin. His second. Full court man to man pressure. Again, trying to. They get it ahead. Not sure who scored that. Davenport. Davenport scored that. On the layup. 44 29. Bears trail. Ty Price pulls the floater. Tries to get his own rebound. We're going to get a foul here, I believe, maybe on Satterfield. A little over the back. And you're right. Foul's going to be on Satterfield. That's his first of the night. Inbounds the ball to Ty Price. Price has it on the wing, gets it over to DeWeese. DeWeese back. Gets his, recovers it, drives baseline and loses it again to Kendrick. He gets it up to Satterfield. Satterfield top of the key. Back to number two. They're going to give it to Satterfield, who will give it to Thompson in the corner. They're holding for the last shot. Yeah. Five seconds. And Briar Griffin will pull the last second shot. No good. We're going to take a break as we head to this fourth quarter brought to you by Butler County Board of Education. You're listening to Bears Basketball here on 101.5, 103.5. Butler County School System. Butler County students excel at everything from bridge building to building rockets. Our bands and choirs are consistently some of the best in the entire state. Graduates from our Advanced Technology State Board of Education is proud of our students on and off the field and reminds you that they're committed to success one student at a time. Nine, 44 as we start off this fourth quarter brought to you by Butler County Board of Education bringing you Butler County sports since they existed. A lot better quarter then Parker. Uh, yep. Bears outscored. Uh, 13 to 7. So again eight minutes left. Yep. That's our suit section getting 
evacuated there. <laughs> Got it. Not sure what happened, folks. Again, uh, assistant principal, Mr. Humphreys, and athletic director, Clerk. Tomas in the corner who pulls a three ball, and that is good. 47 to 22, Griffin on the other wing. Griffin drives the lane, kicks out to Rice. Rice over to Castling. Over to Price. Price. They get fouled here on the floor. Fouls going to be on the floor. Yep, Davenport just going to be his third. 7.30 left to play in the game. Bears trail 47-29. Bears gets it up to Trevor DeWeese. DeWeese over to Griffin. Griffin on the wing drive towards the basket and gets the layup up and in to, to Moss. Moss inside the Suggs. Who gets the slam to go? 49-31. As balls gonna go out of bounds here. Easy. Yep. As they get it over to Thompson. Inside to Satterfield. Satterfield over to Moss. Back to Moss, who pulls a three ball. Lawson Rice is gonna throw it to the hands of Thompson. Thompson's going to give it over to Satterfield. Satterfield, Davenport inside to Thompson. No good. Trevor DeWeese with the rebound. Ahead to Ty Price. Ty Price pulls a deep three ball. No They're going to. Officials timeout. Bears trail 49-31. We're checking on Briar. Briar's got a little bit of any kind of blood at all. You got to come out, and uh, so Mr. Tony uh, Tony Baird still checking. Apparently, he is going to be okay. He's going to stay in. He, he got, took a shot to the nose. Yeah. Okay, again, we're 49-31. Bears trail. Four. see this happen but uh, and we'll just leave it at that 49-31 uh, Bears trail fourth quarter action 6-14 left to play in the game but again a quality opponent out of Henderson but it's just been a rough night the shots just haven't gone down yeah. uh, and here we go shots no good Foul's going to be on number five. And that's going to be Davenport. I think that's his fourth. Full court pressure by the Bears. They trail 49-33. Davenport shot no good. Trevor Deweese got numbers. Ball goes out of B. Henderson ball. 546 left to play. Bears trail by 16, 49-33. Yep. They're across midcourt. Stolen almost. Davenport gets his own. M. Suggs, Suggs underneath, and he dunks it again. Again, Elijah Suggs, the big 6'5", junior. Ty Price out front, dribbling. Satterfield is his third. 526 left to play. Bears trail 51-33. Ty Price will go to the line. Henderson County was beaten by Owensboro Senior High School uh, by the score of 72-59. It was only their, it was only Henderson County's second loss of the season. Uh, was to uh, Bowling Green High. So, so last night was just the other three losses to Henderson were out of state, out of state. Uh, right now, 
recent years in, in uh, Kentucky High School Athletics, anytime there's uh, blood, uh, you have to stop play. Uh, now the crowd is angry because uh, it seemed like you would have just taken Thompson out of the game and fixed that. Yeah. But, uh, okay, here we go. 51-33, tie price to the line. Bears trail by. And it's good. Fifty-one thirty-four. Bears trail. Five twenty-six. Full court pressure by the Bears. Castlin trying to force a turnover. Moss gets okay. Going to call a double foul. Okay, Tone. Okay, we got a double foul, and these fans ejected. Uh, again, you hate to see this at any time, so we've got double fouls on both Butler and Henderson. They get it into Davenport. Davenport across the timeline. Davenport, ball goes out of bounds. 5.07 left to find something, takes the deep three, no good. Gets his own rebound, ball's loose on the floor. It's Price over to Castlin. Castlin shot is blocked. Kendrick with the ball, throws it out of bounds. Four. Again, Bears trail by 16, not used to being in this position. Ty Price with the ball out front, over to Deweese. Deweese back to Price. Price back to Deweese. Deweese over to Griffin. Griffin goes back to the hole, puts it in. Good job by Lawson. Full court pressure by the Bears. Henderson County getting it across midcourt. Here they come. Bears quickly back down floor. Deweese, Deweese over to Griffin. Griffin, deep three, no good. Gets his own rebound. Ty Price, I'm sorry. Lawson again, puts it up, no good, no foul. Thompson, timeout. Henderson County, full timeout. We're, full timeout. We're gonna take a quick one with them. You're listening to Bears basketball here on 101.5, 103.5 WLBQ. For sports teams to succeed, they need good leaders. Point guards and quarterbacks call the right plays to put their teammates in position to score and personal accounting services. Kendall is ready to call the right plays to keep you compliant with the IRS and keep some of your hard-earned money in your pocket. Tax season is right around the... Welcome back to the Barricade as Bears Trail 53-37 here in this fourth quarter. Brought to you by Butler County Board of Education bringing you Butler County Sports. Sports existing. As we're seeing this turn into a little bit of a fiscal game here. Yeah, it has. You know, it was, like I said, really the quarter that really did us in. We got outscored 21-6 in the second. Third quarter, we came back 13-7. But again, I really, Parker, I look for Henderson County to win Region 2 and go on and advance to the Sweet 16. I really look. I think two weeks from now, we'll Pretty hear about team. them win the region. Yeah. Very, very solid team. Henderson County cross midcourt. Moss with the ball out front. Moss driving. Over to Satterfield, back to Moss. Moss driving in Kendrick. Kendrick back out to underneath to Thompson for the layup is good. Butler all the way down. Shot. Henderson County quickly, 55-39. Got him trapped, full court pressure. They're having trouble. Now they're across the timeline. Moss with the ball. They got numbers. And it marked left to play. Man to man. Kendrick underneath for the layup. But calling the charge, huh? Brad Griffin on the charge. I, I get hooking him, I'm not sure. I, I, I didn't see it. I didn't see it. So Briar picks up his uh, 2.56 left to play. 57 39. Henderson County leads. Full court pressure by the Bears. Davenport with the ball to Thompson. Thompson for the, the jumper. Good. 
Full court pressure, 59-41, 240 left to play. Bears trail by 18. Thompson for Henderson. Out to 62-41, Bears trail. Lawson Rice underneath, puts it up, good. Officials timeout, 62-43. 2.15 left to play. Here we'll visit and we'll have them at home next week, folks. That'll be a big Region 3 matchup. Uh, again, congrats to the Lady Bears the other night uh, also for Coach Belcher. Okay, here we go, 2.15 left to play in the game. Okay, we've got another stop in play here. And we're checking. That may be. That may have been yeah. Breyer's. When we had the double foul a while ago. I think they put it on him. That may have been number four. And I, I'm not sure. But uh, so again, the case is in. Full court. He'll back it back out. Davenport for three. In and out, put back up by Suggs. Good. Timeout, Butler County. Be a full timeout. Full timeout. We'll take a quick one with them. You're listening to Bears basketball here on 101.5, 103.5 WLBQ. To give you that pick me up in the morning? What about a filling dinner? You should head to Hardy's in Morgantown. They have everything you need when it comes to breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They have fluffy biscuits, crunchy hash rounds, mouth watering burgers, taco teams of Butler County. Their friendly and talented staff will make sure your order is fresh and filling. Located on Veterans Way, Hardy's, where the food's the star. Welcome back to the Bear Cave. Bears Trail 46-64 in this fourth quarter brought to you by Butler County Board of Education. As coming out of this timeout. Crank up even though it doesn't feel like it outside. Wind chill was in the teens most of the day today. Uh, in the way of uh, KHSAA, the uh, state wrestling meet was to play. Henderson County inbounds the ball, full court pressure by the Bears. They got him trapped in the corner. Taken away. Uh, Henderson, and we got a foul now. Foul's going to be, uh, I think, on Trevor Deweese. Nope. Hang on. Try was on Ty Price. Ty Price. Tonight in the Hebrews Classic. Inbound the ball to Davenport. Davenport to, to Moss. Moss cross timeline. Moss will dribble out to Satterfield. Satterfield out front. Foul's going to be called on Trevor DeWeese. 139 left to play. Be ball. Davenport gets across the timeline. Man-to-man -man coverage. K Suiton on him. Now they double him up. Foul's going to be on K Suiton. 131 left to play. Again, Bears trail 46-64. Henderson County Colonels out of Region 2. We'll go to the line for Henderson to shoot two. Davenport, Cooper Davenport on the season uh, is averaging 15 tonight. He actually has just been held to eight. Davenport's first shot up is good. 65-46, 131. Again, the Bears will be finishing up regular season next week. Second free throw is up, and it's good. That's all the way. Floater, no good. Rebound, gets his own rebound, puts it back up. No good. Rebound, Lawson Rice. Rebound, Trevor Deweese. Trevor puts it in for two. Good job by Trevor keeping the ball alive. Full court pressure. Moss across midcourt. Foul. Send Moss to the line. Again, we knew this coming in, folks. Again, Henderson County veteran team, four seniors, six juniors. They played ten players tonight. A lot of depth. 
Moss's first free throw was up, and it's good. He in the game. Moss's second free throw was up, and it's good. 68-48. We're under a minute left to play. Ty Price out front, looking over to Trevor Deweese. Deweese looks back to Price. Price shoots the three. Again, some of the other things going on. Um, like I said, a lot of things starting to happen. Uh, tennis, track, I know track. Parker, yep, you're- We got to meet tomorrow in Louisville. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then we'll have a couple more meets and then we'll have- So state. you got a Sunday meet? Yeah, we've had three now. Oh, okay. That they've moved from Saturdays because okay. there's so many teams that- Got it. They don't got want it. them taking 12, 13 hour long, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that's great. Well, good luck to y'all. Yeah, thank good you. Good luck thank to you. you. All right, here we go, folks. 54 seconds left to play. Thompson will inbound the ball for Henderson. Davenport. Been a presence tonight. Ty Price, long three, no good. Thompson, they got numbers. Davenport for the layup. 30 seconds, going to be on Suggs. 26 seconds left to play. I think that's going to be Elijah Suggs' fourth. That's his fifth. Nope. Trevor Louise takes a trip to the final finish free throw line for two shots. 72-51, Bears trail, 26 seconds left to play. First free throws up, it's good. Henderson County leads. Again tonight here in the Hebrews Classic, first game Ohio County beat Madisonville. Second free throw is good by Deweese. Henderson inbounds it. Davenport with the ball to Moss. Moss will just kick it back out. Moss over to Satterfield. Satterfield will just hold 72 to 53. Final score 72 53. Bears take the loss here. We're going to take a minute, gather some stats, and be back with Dairy Queen of Beaver Dam uh, post game show for you. You're listening to Bears basketball here on 101.5, 103.5 WLBQ. It's hoop season, and it's time to get out and support your Bears and trust. That's the cooperative difference. We're proud of our hometown roots and our hometown team, and we're honored to support our local athletes. To learn more about Warren Ares, the farm boy has been a staple of the Morgantown community. Not only is it the premier spot for down-home country cooking, but it's the best place to catch up on all the local happenings with good friends and family. All-you-can-eat catfish Fridays. If you're looking for the best down-home country-style meal this side of the Green River, visit the Farm Boy today, located at 635 West G.L. Smith Street in Morgantown. Help keep Butler County beautiful. are conveniently located throughout the county to make recycling easy. Find trailers at Triple C Pawn and Gun, Walgreens, Kelly Fabrication, Quality Supply, Corvac, Jumping Jacks 231 South, Little Muddy Rural Development Center, The Farm Boy, and Reduce, Reuse, Recycle. When you do, we all win. Has your car been damaged by a deer, ditch, or distracted driver? If so, Chad's Record Service and Body Shop is Chad's are licensed and insured and will work with your insurance company to make your car like new again. Chad's also offers 24-hour record service, so when the unexpected happens, you won't be stranded on the side of the road. Call Chad's for a free estimate at 270 5 That's simple. Our over 30 years of experience and multiple distributors allow us to be your number one tire store in the area. We always give free rotation and balancing on tires but we do brakes alignments and much more for all your service needs as always honesty is our policy schedule an appointment at 270-526-5732 thank you more than 50 years the farm boy has been a staple of the morgantown community not only is it the premier spot for down home country cooking but it's the best place to catch up on all the local happenings with good friends and family Daily specials are always available in Street in Morgantown. The Farm Boy is now open on Sundays from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. As well, be, as, excuse me, I haven't been talking all night, Coach. As we begin the Dairy Queen of Beaver Dam post-game show, once again, Jonas with Parker Smith with you. 
Bears fall to the Henderson County Colonels, 53-72. And, uh, Coach, if you want to go ahead and go over some stats for us. Yes, sir, I will. For the Colonels, again, uh, they'll go 22-14. and 14. Elijah Suggs, uh, big on the night, 21. Uh, Moss with 12, Thompson 4, Kendrick with 6, Bell with 3 for a total of 72. Lawson Rice 19, Brian Griffin 11, Justin Castlin 2, Trevor Dewey 7 for a total of 53. Uh, so again, we knew Henderson County coming in. We knew it'd be a big challenge normally on the season outing, and let's just learn from it, regroup. Again, one week left in the regular season, one week left, and got another big game coming in here next week. It was not on the schedule originally, folks. On, uh, but if, if you can't join us, uh, if you can't come and watch it in person, join us on the air. Yep, and uh, Coach, tonight uh, just struggling shooting. I know, uh, I think Ohio County was the Bears' lowest point total of the season. Uh, definitely uh, going to try and regroup. Uh, over this break they have and come back next week strong and uh, really just get ready for the uh, the postseason. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. District tournament folks will be at Grayson County and then the regional tournament. There's a lot of basketball still left to play. Did you give the IGA hometown player? I didn't. Of the game? I did not. IGA hometown player of the game. We were in agreement. It's uh, Lawson Rice, yeah. uh, leading scorer for the Bears. Did a great job. Uh, great for with what, the he, boards. what he could on the boards effort. and on the, just a tough, tough outing on the shooting side for the Bears tonight. But uh, like I said, hopefully they come back. Regroup next week. We'll bring you as many games as we possibly can, as we always try to. Um, I don't have anything else. But keep it right here on WLVQ 101.5, 103.5. Morgantown Bank and Trust knows what being on the home team is all about. Since 1880, Morgan. And since 1976, we've been a part of every WLBQ broadcast of Butler County High School Athletics. As your only home-owned independent bank, we want to be a pillar of the community. And we work hard every day to get...